The moment that we've all been waiting for, the Alaska Huskies taking on the Seattle Kraken in the Western Conference Finals here in the Stanley Cup playoffs. We've made it this far. It's now time to get it done, to clutch up and beat those intra-division rival Seattle Kraken. So let's do it, boys. Let's do it. We've got Lostadol getting a little bit of a breakaway here. He's got one man to beat and moving in, trying to get the beauty backhand going off. And to no such luck. It's going to be a save by Grubauer. And we draw a face off here to the left circle. We got Jaden Schwartz going to be passing this puck. It's going to be a turnover. Here is Hunter Vasky moving on in, circling in with the rebound. And Vidar Lazdadal finds himself in perfect position to get the first goal of the game. What a way to do it. Hunter Vasky and Vidar teaming up on line one. One of the most formidable lines in all of the NHL in this series, man. So if you guys have noticed here, I'm a little bit stuffed up. So I apologize that, you know, this isn't the cleanest commentary that I can get. But it has been a long time since we've done a Huskies episode. And it's just, you gotta, sometimes you gotta sacrifice. Sometimes you just have to suck it up and, and get out here and, and get it done, right? You got a job to do. We got a job to do, though. We need another goal. But this is not going to help. We're going to get a penalty call here. It's going to be a tripping along the boards. Let's see who it's on here. It's going to be on Seth Colley. So we've got about 15 seconds here left in the power play for Seattle. We're trying to kill this thing off. And Bernard not being in good position. And here is Giroux with the shot. But a great save by Isaac Lopez. Centering pass is going to be turned over. Here comes Bunneman. And this will end up being called an icing. Um, interesting. <laughs> definitely wasn't an offsides call. I guess it was an icing. The, the uh, referee didn't make a signal here. But here we go. We got Lynn moving on in. And Isaac Lopez stands tall with the blocker save. We got to do a little bit better of a job there on the passing lanes. Not turning those pucks over. Bernard chasing Tanev. And Tanev moves on in and gets the tying goal. It is now 1-1. One to one. Ugh. Suspect defense there in the last couple minutes. Now we got under a minute left here in the period. About 30 seconds left to go here. Gotta, gotta play some good defense, guys. Gotta get this puck out of here. Let's move it. Here comes Bunneman. We've got a three on two. The shot. That's gonna be a glove save by Grubauer. Another attempt there on the right circle, but that's gonna be going off wide, and that will go all the way back down the ice, the husky zone and that's it for period number one. We've got a tie hockey game here. And <laughs> we, we see Josh Bernard trying to do his best against Tanev on that tying score, diving all over the place, trying to make a play, but to no such luck here. So still 1-1 game, and we've got line number one out here. Comes Hunter Vasky circling behind the net. Where are we gonna go? We're gonna, gonna fire it right in front of Grubauer, and you know, it's a little cheesy. I'm not gonna lie to you. It seems like you can get a goal every single time when squaring up to the goalie, either wraparounds or uh, basically getting into the corner and then just out skating the defenseman. I, it's just, it's just, it's bad, it's bad. So I'm the first one to tell you, you know, maybe I shouldn't have taken that route, but you know what, if they're gonna give it to me, I also think I should go after it. But here is Aiden Oliver at the circle with a nice pass, oh! The rebound right to Barnaby, and he's able to put it home. So the third line, Oliver, Barnaby, able to hook up there and get the third goal of the playoffs there for Atticus. And here we see it again here. Here's the shot. Mm. Oh, okay. It never really even hit Grubauer. Hit the defenseman up front. But we've got a 3-1 game here in game number one. Second period is almost halfway over, and we got another save by Lopez, and he's having himself a great game so far. Five minutes and 15 seconds to go. Here's Lyle. Again, another shot. Another turnover there for the Huskies. And another shot up front. Nice passing going all the way around with the Kraken. And what a great save by Isaac Lopez. Keeping us in the game right now. That's what our goaltender's doing right now. He's keeping us in the game. We might be out shooting Seattle, but we've had some goaltender issues in the past. You guys have been following the series. You know it full well. But we are getting it done on offense right now. 3-1. to one. Going into the third period. Look at the total shots. I, I said that we might be out shooting them. It feels like it. I guess with the highlight cuts. But 21-21 is your shot totals. And uh-oh, we got a problem here. Here comes Jaden Schwartz. We got Yannick moving in. Oh, nice job there. Good job, boys, to keep that puck away from Isaac Lopez. Here comes Bernard moving the offense up. The slap shot. 
It's gonna ring, not even close to Grubauer. He's gonna ring around the boards, and Yannick circling around, looking for a good shot to have. He's gonna fire it, ooh. Grubauer with a nice glove save there. Tried to trick him, thought he might have been going left. He goes right. Now here comes Lazdendal with three minutes, looking for a little more insurance goal. Right here, and that's not a, I mean, it was a good attempt. It was a good attempt, I'll give him that. Good pass, good centering pass. Now here comes Alexander Wenberg with the shot, and another turnover here for Seattle. Now here comes Hunter Vasky. He's moving in, he's got the circle. Nice pass there to Regalwood, and Regalwood puts it home. It is four to one Huskies, and we are in full control of this hockey game, man. Seventh goal of the postseason here for Leon. And what a goal it was, because that should seal it. That that should get it done here. We got a replay. Vasky blowing by. Nice pass to his teammate. Decided to be unselfish and make the pass instead of taking the shot here. But here we got another shot at getting another goal here. Regalwood trying to set up his man. Nothing doing. And then Hunter Vasky with a slap shot. You can't stop it from there. It's too good. It's too hard. It's too fast. Can't stop it. So Hunter Vasky puts another goal up on the scoreboard, it is six to one. Take one more gander at it, boom! You think you can stop that? Try facing that, that's like 100 miles an hour, just like super close, should be illegal right there. So five to one, actually five to one. What am I talking about? What, 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 six? I thought it was six to one. No, 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 that's wrong. It's totally wrong, Willie. You're totally wrong. This must be your clogged up brain or something. Like, I don't know, I must be having something going on there. Got to go to the doctor. Check it out here. Let's get back to the action. Isaac Lopez. Great game. One goal allowed. Neil Till. There he is. Showing some love to the fans. Got to do that. Got to be unselfish at this point. You got to start the hot goalie. So 5-1 is your final score. Not 6-1. Goldie. A lot of shots for both sides. 35 for Alaska. 28 for Seattle. 18 hits to 5. So we were bringing the heat. Hard hits. On Seattle, definitely setting the tone in game one. We'll see what game two looks like, as you know. How we do this in the playoffs is we got to simulate game number two. And if it's a one to one series, we got to simulate game three to break the tie. And over there on the eastern side of things, we've also got a tie between the Carolina Hurricanes and the Detroit Red Wings. So now in this one one tie, we're going to simulate all the way to game four. We actually do get a win here. So we are up two games to one over Seattle. There's no simulating in this one now that we have broken the tie. It is time to get into some gameplay action here in Seattle. Playoff record 10 and 6 for the Huskies, and I believe Seattle has eight wins in the postseason so far. So with it being game number four, and we're up two games to one, you know, I, I don't lose a lot. This is superstar difficulty. I don't lose quite a lot in gameplay when we play. So rather than, you know, increasing your chances of going up 3-1, to one, we're going to let the CPU play it out here. So this is what we got going here. Now look at Leon Regalwood moving in and with the... Oh, whoo, what a move by Leon. Unfortunately not able to put it home, but what a good attempt it was, man. It's flashy. It's stuff I like to see the CPU whip out from time to time. Don't take that a different way, you dirty minds. So Regal Wood, moving in, getting a shot off, back in the trapezoid there, Seattle, going to move it back out here. We got period is ending, and it's still a nothing-nothing tie in game number four. So let's jump on out to the second period here, and oh, what a save, whoa, what a save by Neil Till. He even had to get up and make another attempt on a shot. Wow, luckily that second shot didn't come anywhere close, but here comes Seattle again, gonna challenge Neil Till. And he makes a five hole save, a butterfly save, loving it. All right, here we go, Huskies, Federov back to Regalwood. Regalwood working on his man, is able to move in. Good attempt, able to lay the body out. Vasky with the puck, Vasky moving in, he's gonna score. Hunter Vasky moves on in in close quarters. He's got that X factor. He's got the abilities going on here. Close quarters activated. Tenth goal of the playoffs. Love to see it. Now here comes Wenberg. Going to blow by Charles Chapman and try to get a shot off on Neil Till. He's going to make the save. Oof. Neil Till has been tested early in this game. 
but the Huskies goaltender is standing strong. Here comes Taylor Jett moving in with these scores at a very, very tough angle, but Taylor Jett able to put it home, and Huskies now up two to nothing. End of the second period, here we go. Let's see if they can get a shot off. They won't. A little weak attempt there by, I believe, Wenberg. But either way, two nothing, Huskies. We got a chance here, let's do it. Oh no, they're gonna cut it down by one. Jaden Schwartz with a nice move, he got Neil Till to bite. That's gonna cut the lead down just to one. It is a 2-1 game now. Eight goals in the postseason there for Schwartz. Huskies trying to make something happen. We are fighting. Here comes Trenton Grell with a shot. Able to get there to Lazendal. Lazendal moving it back here to Federoff. Federoff back to Bernard. Bernard over to Lazendal, but we've got a penalty, a delayed penalty on Seattle at about 7.14 mark. So we get a power play with Jaden Schwartz with the penalty. Looks like a slashing call. We got Fedorov firing a shot here. About 20 seconds left in power play. Barnaby in the corner. We got three Huskies on two Kraken here. Let's see if we can corral it. We can't. And that is going to end our power play chance there. We can go all the way to the back of the ice here. Kulikov able to corral it back. And we reset the offense here. Let's jump ahead to about 135 left to go here in the game. And Kiprasov moving in here. Schwartz with the shot. But what a job. And John Borhoff able to deflect the shot up the middle. He protects his goaltender. And now it's Borhoff on Schwartz with about... 55 seconds left to go. Look at the defensive pressure they're putting on everybody. Borhoff working on Schwartz. He's going to blow by Borhoff, but Neil Till poke checks it away from Schwartz. It remains a 2-1 Huskies lead. Seattle going to pull out the goaltender, and they're going to get the extra attacker. Another great job on defense to block the shot off of Schwartz, and now it's time. Here comes Lazadal moving in. Can we get an empty net goal? We can. It's three to one, and that is gonna do it. That right there could have easily changed the series. That last couple seconds right there, that minute left to go, Seattle putting so much pressure on our defense, but we were up to the task. Three to one, and the series will move to three games to one. Whew, that was beautiful. What a job by the Huskies there in that final minute to shut down the Seattle push. Let's see if we can get the final win here in this series and make it to the Stanley Cup Finals against either Carolina or Detroit. That series is actually a 2-2 tie between those two hockey clubs, but if we can beat Seattle four games to one, it's a five-game series. That is a heck of an accomplishment, and we have come so far. You guys remember the little rivalry that was happening between us and Seattle? Of course, two expansion teams coming in at the same time, and at least in this storyline of this series. Yeah, I, I do, and they kicked our butts every time. So I'm thankful that we got this matchup here in the Western Conference Finals, and that would be such a huge milestone for this franchise here, the Huskies franchise, namely... Now here comes Hunter Vasky moving in, but an offsides call. So we got some more pressure on Isaac Lopez. He's going to get the start here to win this game. That's what we're trying to do right now. We don't want to be messing around. Neil Till's good and all, but he's very inconsistent. So let's see if Isaac Lopez can get us the W here. Now here comes Seth Colley, pass to John Boroff. Boroff has been so good, and he continues to be so good in gameplay for us, man. This guy, he plays well defensively. He's putting the puck in the back of the net with consistency. I mean, he shoots this thing between the defender's leg and he beats Grubauer up top. I don't know what else to say about John Warhoff. He may he may be one of our most unsung heroes on this on this team. We've got guys like Barnaby, Matthew Hawk, Trenton Grell, guys that you don't see a lot of other than Taylor Jett, Vasky, Lazendal, Regalwood, but man, Borhoff has been so good in this series but uh oh we got a problem here here comes Jaden Schwartz working on Lopez and oh what a save by Isaac Lopez that's what we're talking about we need those types of saves here and uh oh no yeah we, we got so many Husky defenders right there and Claude Giroux just got too wide open of a look you can't give that to him 
Got to clamp up a little bit, guys. Now, here's a big hit. Lazenal going to move in, and there it was. I decided to not take it. I decided to not take it, guys. So, stepping out of character here, Mr. Commentator, I didn't take it. But, uh-oh, we got Leon Regalwood moving in. The breakaway. He's going to score. A defensive miscue by the Kraken, and Regalwood makes him pay. Woo, baby. I love seeing that. When things just start clicking, things just start working for you. We are tough to beat. So we're actually on a power play at this point. Got about 45 seconds left ticking away here. Comes Aiden Oliver moving in. It is a three on two. And he's actually going to pass this off to Barnaby, who's going to fire it. It's another rebound. And Seth Colley puts it in the back of the net. 6-0-2 left in the second period. Power play goal. And this line three has been really good. Surprisingly good in this Western Conference Finals. So a 3-1 game in the second period. Kali behind the net, just trying to find something. He's going to kick it back here to Lyle, back to Jet, and over to Borhoft. And he gets another goal. I mean, he is in such good position there. Nobody's even close to him. We've got a 5-on-5. Five five. There's no penalties, no power play, nothing. But Borhoft able to get a goal. Fedorov back here to Lazendal. Lazendal up the middle to Vasky. Vasky fires top shelf. And he gets the fist pump. Oof, that fires up the fans. Oh, baby. We are pouring it on. Just like in game number one, game at number five looks to play just the same. What a shot. What a goal. And, man, at the end of two, we are up big by a score of five to one. Can we get to six, please? Just like last time, like I screwed up, like it was six, six to one win. Well, can we actually get to six? That would be great. But now we've got a nice tic-tac-toe pass. You know, Yanni Gord able to score. It's going to be five to two in the third period here. We're going to jump all the way to a minute left. No action until this. Can we get to six? Power play goal time. Atticus Barnaby puts it away. And that is the exclamation point. A breakaway off a turnover. Atticus Barnaby. Oh, just gifted a goal right there. And what a way to end the game. An exclamation point right there. And the Huskies. Three, two, one, zero. The Alaska Huskies, for the first time in franchise history, will be headed to the Stanley Cup Finals to await the winner of Carolina or Detroit. We're gonna simulate those games and see who we're gonna take on. Hopefully it's Detroit. That would be crazy about how this all worked out. The trade on draft day, Iserman and Peter Vasky. Vasky trading away some of his pieces to Detroit, to Stevie Y out there to go get his son, to go draft his son and, you know, some people might have thought that the Red Wings won the trade. They got two X-Factor style players where we only had gotten one. So we'll see how this whole thing's going to play out. Detroit and Alaska have been hard-hitting hockey teams here. They have not liked each other. A lot of big hits, a lot of fighting. If you guys are new to this series, make sure you go check those games out. That It's been well documented that this is a sort of rivalry, Western Conference, Eastern Conference. You could say that this is kind of like the Colorado Avalanche against the Red Wings rivalries of the 90s, late 90s, early 2000s. But that's kind of where I was growing up when I was watching that stuff, which was crazy. But as we simulate, 3-2 to two, Detroit is up on Carolina. Man, I'm really hoping for this. We are going to simulate the next game, and there you go. Yes, there it is. You couldn't script it any better than that. That is awesome. We get Detroit. 48 win Detroit against 47 win Alaska. We lost 26 games. They lost 30. They had a lot more ties than they did. So I would honestly say that this team is, these two teams are very, very similar. And as we go ahead and we take a look at the playoff statistics, we're going to take a look at that because I really want to see as far as player stats for this period of time right now, not the season, but I want to see the, the playoff stuff. We've got Vasky with 22 points, 11 and 11, 8 and 13 for Vidar, Lazadal, 
Kali's actually having a really good postseason, but quickly scrolling through here, Bunneman's got nothing going on right now. He's more of that grinder type guy on line three, line four. Goaltenders, we got 10 wins for Lopez and six losses, one shutout. Neil Till, in three games, he's 2-0. So, man, I, <laughs> what's the, he just wins. He just wins. It's crazy. Now, taking a look by comparison, the Detroit Red Wings, this is what we're going up against. Zach Garrison, one of the guys they drafted four in the, in, in the Vasky trade. Carl Modine, another guy that they drafted in that same Vasky draft. So two players there with 14 plus points together. I think it's going to be a very even matchup. So we've got Hunter Vasky basically compares to Zach Garrison. We've got Carl Modine basically compares to Vidar Lazadal. So, I mean, we, we've got some players here. We're no, we're, no, we're no slouches. And as we sort the entire league in the postseason for goals four, take a look at what we're working with here. A 64 points, 64 goals for Alaska, 58 for Detroit. 47 to 40, it's going to be a tight matchup. It's going to be close. This one's going to be fun. I can't wait to bring it to you guys. Leave a like if you like this thing. What do you think? Do you think that we're going to get a win? Do you think we're going to win the Stanley Cup for the first time in franchise history? Now, I will say, because this series is where it's at, and it's July, and there's not a lot of NHL content on YouTube right now, and I have loved every single minute that I've been able to bring the Alaska Huskies franchise to you, this is pretty much the last gameplay season. Um, I just don't... I love doing this, but, you know, 200 to 300 views, guys. I need to be doing something. I need to be spending time making making things that are going to, you know, that are going to, like, pay off, right? So this one will be ending no matter if we win or lose against the Red Wings here in the Stanley Cup Finals for 2000 and 24 2023 and 2024 so you guys tell me do you think we're gonna do it do you think are you confident that we are going to get the win and end the series in this high pressure situation i mean every series i've ever done we've always won a championship at the end i've never finished something until we win one but this one i want to do a little bit different because of the storylines at play are we going to win or are we going to lose? What do you guys think? I'm, I'm putting myself on the spot here. If we don't do it, this will be the first series I've ever done that. And uh, we got to be okay with the results. And we can tip our hat to Stevie Y that he, that he beat us in the trade. Or we can say we won the trade. The big one there in the Hunter Vasky draft. So guys, I'll see you in the next one. As always, thank you so much for watching. And peace.